Oh. Uh, uh, duh. Good day, sir. I actually do mean trouble. I'm sorry I have to kill you. Well, I didn't know it, but this is a Lionel location. Uh, I've been kind of doing, uh, well, not kind of, I've been following my footsteps, literally, and seeing where I haven't gone, and this entire bluff is completely unexplored by me. Gigantic oversight, but I'm, I'm remedying that now, but it means that I discover cool things like this man, and he discovers me in a bad way. Well, uh, I guess this is part of the episode. I didn't expect for this to happen, but there's a frost talus here, which I don't even remember if we've ever faced one of these before. I just, I think we might have, but there's a frost talus. Goody, goody goo. This gives me unfreezable. Yeah, it does. So, oh, hello. That's, that's conveniently located. Uh, I need a spear, need a spear, need a spear. Do I have a spear? I do. There, that works. Wow, that made him fall down. Come on, kill him. Did that make him fall down again? It did. Uh, let's get out this. Climb up on top of him. That did not work. Here, let's stasis him. There. Let's just, yeah, let's, this, this works. This definitely works. Die. Uh, what bow am I using? This bow? Okay. Missed. And then stasis him again. Run around like it's the Ganondorf fight from Ocarina of Time. Stun him. Keep running around. And Skrbloosh. Well played. Good adaptation. Good change of strategy. And I am proud of that fight. There are these giant holes in where I've explored. Like, there's a huge one here. There's a gigantic one here as well. I've never been. I have never been on this the, these mountains. There's probably a Lionel there, and I've just never, never gone near. There are giant holes here, and now that I know that this exists, there's a huge, there are two huge holes right there. Uh, I now know that there's a lot left of Hyrule for, left for me to explore beyond just... Uh, beyond just the the main major area. So now that I know this is a thing, I won't be putting it in episodes randomly. I'll probably just dedicate a lot of time towards cracking this this piece of the puzzle, which is the missing map. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I didn't mean another accident. I shot a deer and it kind of revealed this for me. What is in here? Whoa, hello. Uh, that probably doesn't work. The ice against icy enemies probably is not a solution. Die. Die. It looks like there's a dragon bone weapon up there. Dragon bone moblin club. I mean, that's not good. I can't even hold it. Is it even good? No, it's not even good. I don't know why I equipped my weapon like that. Oh, I I thought I was I was wondering. There like there are bananas everywhere. This is oh great. Uh, I need I need to I need to get arrow time. I really need arrow time. You die. You die. Where's the other one? Got him. I I pegged him. He's not dead. Now he's defeated. Are there any more? Wow. It was an actual trap, and it. Really pays it pays out. Well, that's neat. I, I mean, we've seen ca encampments that have been home to the Yiga clan before, but we've never seen something like this. That that's pretty cool. Huh. Ha! Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate for you, sir. Oh, you got defeated by yourself. That is a prime example of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Come on. Put it in. Yes. 400. 400 Korok seeds. Ah, it only took me three hours, but I did it. I did it. Let's get out of here. 
Wow. This is the maximum weapon stash. Huh. So, there's only one more thing that can be expanded, and that's... What is this? The, the shield? St no, I think it's the bow stash. And that's not... I mean, in case you've been paying attention... This... Uh, there are 400 Korok seeds left, so... What, pray tell, do I spend them on past that? I get... I don't know. Oh my goodness. Who am I? I have no clue who I am anymore. My goodness, I'm a degenerate. As I stare into the vast world of nothing, the void that lays beyond Hyrule to the north, and as I look down at my four-eyed steed, I can't help but wonder, can it taste sound? Hey guys, gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As is evidenced by the, the tracker at the bottom of your screen, this is probably not the beginning of the episode, but it's the intro. I have done quite a bit of work off screen, and by off screen, I mean partially on screen, collecting Korok seeds. And I am now proud to present a. If I can move over here. A full weapons page. It cost me 55 Korok seeds, but at last, this is the largest that a weapon page can be. Even though I'm, I'm short one weapon, but I have all the slots possible. I have all the slots possible for my bow. And I do not quite have all the slots possible for my shield. Which, you might be wondering, well, what does that mean? Because we have 402 Korok Seeds at this point, and we are finishing up the shield category. Well, I don't know. I don't know what Korok Seeds do beyond, beyond upgrading your inventory slots, but please do not tell me. I have made this one part of the game explicitly clear. I do not want to know if there is a reward for getting all the Korok Seeds, or even what the reward is past the uh, a weapon slots. So don't tell me. Now, we have a little bit of time less left in the episode, which is strange to say considering I just did the intro, but I'm going to try to keep this a little bit short so I can include as much as humanly possible. You'll also notice that because, you know, I've been grinding, and apparently this wasn't enough uh, needless labor, I also went and got the the horse god from Satoru Mountain, and no, there's no shortcut to getting it here. I, I ran the whole way. I ran the entire way. I even took a wrong turn, which put me over here and I found more Korok Seeds, but I, I've been afraid to dismount the, the thunder or the horse god because it will disappear. It will melt on me. So I have the horse god, and so we're starting off this episode, or starting off me commentating, by going over uh, to the... West. I know there is a, a shrine over here. This is, in fact, well, as far as I know, the final maze of the game. However, I'm saving this until we have 119 shrines. Because, as of right... Oh, I can't really show you. As of right now, we have 107. And so I think it would be, it would be cool if we ended it off on a maze, with the last maze of the game being the maze we go to. So yeah, uh, we are just going to be ignoring it for the time being, treating it as though it does not exist, and we are going to be carrying onward. Uh, there are a lot of places we can go. It looks like we can uh, fall to our deaths. No, I took a wrong turn. It looks like we can circle around here and skirt the edge of the mountain. I'm not sure if that's the correct approach. But you know, it's the it's the one that's open to us. So I will I will gladly take that approach. Now, if you'd like a brief oh hello oh well, we have to dismount you. Oh, I don't want to dismount my my blue friend. Maybe he won't care. Maybe he won't care. Well, I'm just gonna run up point blank. Oh, he definitely cares. He definitely cares. I just want to run up point blank. Drop one of these, and I'm gonna move on. Normally, I would love to fight those guys, but I have a I have a horse god, 
And I want to milk this as much as possible because it looks very beautiful having this horse god on my back. Or, <laughs> not, not the horse god on my back. Sorry, I'm not the horse god. Uh, but the, the horse, you, you know what I mean. I, I'm happy to have this in, in this environment. It looks really cool. In fact, that's the only reason why I have a great Thunderblade equipped right now is because it looks cool. So, but if you want to know, uh, have some indication as to how much time I spent off screen, well, two Blood Moons passed by the time I got to this point right here. Which means I've been playing for quite a while. It was like a three or four hour recording of doing nothing but getting Koroks. I got roughly 50, actually, I think I got exactly 52 Koroks off screen. If you look at my, my food here, uh... Yeah, I have 19 seared gourmet steaks, 61 of these, because I've just been shooting game, wild game, with with fire arrows. Like, I've been doing so much off screen that it, it almost feels like it's completely different, of a completely different experience. Like, I didn't just record uh, what I did. So, let's see, let's run through here. We got a shrine blip. And I assume that it's over here because there is a shrine right there. We were right next to it last episode, and I have no clue why I didn't get it. It's been a while, long time, but I am. I guess I will get it later. It would have been nice to have that warp point because I had to go back there to get Koroks, but... Oh well. Oh well. So, just as a reminder, I feel like I, I remind... Whoa, hello. Oh yeah, I have a new policy for this now. Do this. Can I, I place a beacon while I'm, I'm on, wrong, I can't navigate these menus for the life of me, I cannot, uh, let's do this, do not run away from me, I'm not getting the Korok seed, I am just placing this, and getting back on you, thank you, what was I saying, oh yeah, 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 uh, there are 900 Korok seeds in the game, just as a reminder, that is not a Lionel, I was really scared, I wonder if the horse god can die. I don't want to test that out, but I wonder if it can die. There are 900 Korok seeds in the game. I have 402, which means I am almost halfway, but that's that's a really heartening goal. I mean, I got 50 in one sitting. 50 Korok seeds, and I am I'm really happy. I think it I think it's probable at this point to get all of them. When I started and I only had like 85, and I was told that there are 900 in the game. I did not think I was going to get them, but now I do. Now I think it's it's very... Oh, look. That wolf just cut down a tree with its face. I think that's what happened. What is this? This looks weird. Is it nothing? It's just a big old nothing. I don't know. Where, I really don't know where we're going. It's a path. It's a very long path. It's reminiscent of the one we went, was that last episode? When we, we circled this entire region and found three Lionels, it reminds me of that, just minus the three Lionels, which I can't complain, because I have I have a horse god, which I should probably be abusing the infinite stamina of, and not running it off the cliff. Oh, no! No! Oh, the horse god's frozen. That's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Here. Kill you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. I, I really need to be unfrozen for when... No! Don't disappear! No! Horse God. No. <sighs> well, it was fun while it lasted. Now I'll go kill... <laughs> now I'll go back and kill the Lionel. No, no, I won't do that. Get off! Why did you freeze me when you were dead? That is not cool. Nor is it fun. I thought this was a... I could have... I could have stood up on court and said that this was a, a stable, but I guess why would they put a stable all the way back here? That's kind of dumb. Here, let's circle around. Wow. Aggro's handling is much better than the, the horse gods. That's kind of crazy. So we're going this way. I have no clue what it is, but we're here, I guess. Whoa. Oh, we get we are getting a, a very strong reading. Oh, wait. Uh, mark it. There. How many of these do I have left? How many do I have? 14. Okay, I, I doubt I'll find 14 more Koroks in this episode. Okay, we have a shrine somewhere. 
I don't know. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's where it is. Uh, I'm tempted to go down and get the Korok, but I have already said on Twitter that I'm not doing that anymore. I'm saving them for when the episode is over, which is a lot more work for me, but not so much pain for you guys. And it makes my commentary better. Yeah, okay, I've convinced myself. Now I won't go back. Uh, I won't go back. I won't do it. I won't do it. The game is more than Korok seeds. Is that the shrine we were getting a uh, reading for? No. Actually, no, that's not the shrine we're getting a reading for. Oh, whoa, Northern Lights. What? That's so cool. I mean, they don't look that good, but we have the Northern Lights in their strangely animated glory. Okay, can you bring me up, please? Uh, the shrine I'm looking for actually is not that one, because if I if I move that way, which is south, it I get a stronger reading. So I guess we're going to be chaining Rivali's Gale, if I can find a ledge. Yeah. We haven't really had an opportunity to use this, but this is the usage of Rivali's Gale I'm most excited about, is just using it to scale up the side of a mountain. That just seems really convenient. Okay, is this a ledge that I can gale off of? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm up here. Jump in place. And Rivali's Gale. And like that, I'm up... Well, not at the top, but I'm really close to the top. Oh, hello. What are you? Boosh! It's a chest. Why is... Why does it make sense for there to be a chest here? I'm, I'm not sure about that. Okay, what shrine am I... Oh, I'm, I'm not reading one I've seen before. Uh, the reading is very, very faint. I guess we're headed kind of towards the shrine that we saw originally, but that's not the only shrine that there is here. Oh, hello. Wait, have we been to that ledge? I think we might. Yeah, we, ha we have been to that ledge. Um, yeah, this is kind of weird. <sighs> yeah... I don't know if we've been to that before, but it looks... Okay, we've been to that before. It looks like there was a, a passageway in the wall. In fact, it looks like there's a passageway in the wall down there, too. Whoa, updraft? Yeah, I, I need to be, pay attention for those because you never know. They, there could be just a giant old gaping hole in the side of a wall. That's something that Breath of the Wild would pull and has pulled many times before. Uh, do I have a... I do have a flame blade. Get down. <sighs> Come on. They're not Koroks, so there's something substantial. Like a chest. Right, that contains... Oh, a bomb arrow, okay. I was gonna say it contains amber. But no, it contains something better than that. Okay, uh, we are a little bit too low here. Let's use the last charge of Rivali's Gale and get right up to the top. Man, that thing's useful. And the charge time is, is minimal too. Look at this, it's a... Where to go? Uh, charge time of six minutes. Six minute charge time for something that effectively gains you like 400 feet of height. Pretty nice. I I dare say that's the first thing you should be going for early on in the game. Like Mifa's blessing is cool and all, but it's not. I don't think it was the best thing for me to get when I did. It just ugh. looks like there's a Stalnox over here, which thankfully it is daytime, so we don't have to deal with it. Hello, Stalnox. I'm gonna jump up and down right on your body. Ha! What do you think of that, Stalnox? Okay, shrine time. Not the shrine I was looking for, but the shrine I, I found. Not the one I deserved. What is in this shrine, or even what is it called? Here, if I equip a flame blade, which I have two of these things for some odd reason, and then I equip my... Snow boots, I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine in the cold. Cool. And there's, of course, a stupid... Oh, wait. No, the... okay, this is simple. Never mind, I can show this one. Uh, it needs to go... Right there. Yeah. Yeah, that one was easy. But the other ones, for the most part, I, I tried to ignore. And then I do them in between episodes. So we're up to 403. Let's see if I can keep this count in my head here. 403. 
And we have the Ya Mui Shrine. A major test of strength. Oh yeah, I'm excited about that for multiple reasons. First and foremost, being I love fighting. Second of all, in case you haven't understood, I have a certain build that I am going with. It's called the good build. <laughs> it's a, that's my own name for it. Uh, where you use ancient gear and then ancient weapons because you get a 1.8 multiplier. I feel like I explain this every time. You get a 1.8 multiplier on your, your, your junk and then you use a triple attack potion to put a 0.5 multiplier, or 1.5 multiplier, so you have a 2.3 multiplier on all of your attacks, thus turning, <laughs> I feel like I'm in Yu-Gi-Oh now, thus turning a 27 power spear into, if I can pull out my super duper piece of technology, specifically designed for this, it's called a calculator, 27 times 2.3, 62.1 damage on a spear. That's really stinking good. Now, you, sir, hello, are gonna die. Taste my fury. Oh, also, my bad. When you are against ancient enemies, you get an additional 30% multiplier if you're using a guardian weapon, thus making that weapon future pal deal 70.2 points of damage insert damage thing here and if you're using a an ancient weapon you get a 50% multiplier thus making your damage this an ancient blade saw with a power of 55 would deal 154 damage hello hello you can shield bash everything in this game and then you can fail. I do that every time, too. I can never get up close range to this guy. But it looks really sweet when you do. Hoi! And now I think he's dead? Omei wa? Mo shin de ru? Man, that sounded... <laughs> My Japanese pronunciation there was terrible. Hello, sir. It looks like you're using attack. Well, I'll let you know that I am one of the most cocky people <laughs> you will ever meet. At least right now. So you... Can taste my fury. Wow. <laughs> I am one cocky, uh, one cocky person. Let's player. Other adjectives which are not friendly to use. What is this battle axe? A 72 power battle axe, which makes it, with this build, a. 165.6 power battle axe. Future pal, insert numbers. Impress them with knowledge. Okay, let's... <laughs> Whoa, this is a good sword. Uh, dropping... Uh... Man, I have a... Uh, I have a power 99 savage line L sword. Let's pick this up. 59 power sword, that's, that's pretty good. I'll drop a flame blade for it, I can get... I can get those all the time. Uh, and then, let's quit. It's worse than that. Worse than that. So it's probably a... It's probably a long throw spear. Yeah, it's a long throw spear. Not worth it. There, okay. I got the correct one. Let's find out what our reward is. Thankfully, we don't need to worry about a uh, weapon connoisseur since we completed that, I think? Last episode? Yeah. I think we completed it. What is this? Do to do, do Sapphire. Eh. Nah. I think the reward of... In fact, I should probably do this now. The reward of having a major... Another major test of strength, it outweighs the... The reward of the actual shrine. But, this... The reward of the actual shrine is also in the form of a new heart container, because we have three, sh three shrine orbs, and this is our fourth. And that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, just as a reminder... I am cutting this episode just a little bit shorter than I would normally because there's some stuff in the off-screen segment that I would like to use. And so I'm going to be doing just that. I need to equip my flame blade. There. 
Flame blades. Flame blades are pretty useful. I'll be honest. Okay. But I'm going to be using some of the stuff from off screen, which means it technically was not off screen. It was like a three or four hour recording, so if there's something there, I would like to use it. Otherwise, that is going to be it for now. Prepare for a gi- oh, that's another reason. There's a gigantic end slate coming. In fact, I highly doubt I'm going to be getting all of the Korok seeds uh, that I got in the off-screen segment in this end slate. It's probably going to be saved until next end slate as well. Like, I'll split it half and half. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please do me a favor and click that like button. It would be- it would be cool to start seeing the amount of likes equal the number of views. Because that- that's just not something that channels have. It, usually it's like a eighth of the- Okay, shrine reading. I need to pay attention to that. Usually it's a, a much lower number, and it would be cool if my community was, was such that everyone liked the video. Or at least everyone clicked like or dislike. I don't really care. Just, I, I would like to see everyone giving their opinion. Otherwise, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time where we continue exploring the Heber region. See you guys then. Super Saiyan Korok! Ha! gone to the Kakariko village and she saw a chicken and I was like or a cucko and I thought you know she probably doesn't know this so I said well uh, grab that cucko I was just testing the waters a little bit and run up a, a cliff and jump off of it and you can glide she's like oh man that's really cool I said okay yeah yeah uh, now <laughs> hit the chicken she's like wait what I was like yeah you heard me hit, hit the chicken so she hits the chicken